Hey everyone, Rayo here, and today I'm bringing you a guide on how to farm tier 6 materials for your Gift of Fortune or your Mystic Tribute. The first item I would like to go over is a Magic Warped Bundle. You get these by using Unbound Magic, and they have a chance at giving you 10 of your tier 6 materials. The way that you get Unbound Magic is by farming in the new maps like Bloodstone, Fen, Ember Bay, Bitter Frost Frontier, Lake Doric, and Draconis Mons. You can buy this item in each of those maps, but there are two different values that you can buy this item at. In Ember Bay, they sell this item for 1200 150 unbound magic with 40 silver versus the other four maps it sells it for 500 unbound magic and one gold i prefer the 500 magic variant because i only do a winterberry run each day and that gets me 1500 to 2000 unbound magic and if i were to buy from the ember bay merchant i'd only be able to get one bundle but if i buy from any other merchant i can get three to four if i have enough gold now gold is not something to break your deal here because you're gonna make over one gold back no matter what you get as a reward i covered a winterberry farm in a previous video of mine, so if you'd like to see how to do a Winterberry farm, make sure to check the link in the description. This next method is more long term, but it is incredibly valuable to getting your tier 6 materials, and that is gathering your daily pack scouts mapping materials. In order to access this method, you will need to have your pack commander mastery trained to tier 3, so if you're not a Heart of Thorns player, then you will not have access to this method. On top of that, you will need karma, and you will need 5,250 karma per pack scout mapping materials, and there are 6 merchants. So this will require a total of 31.5k karma per day. What these items will do is bypass the need to do events in a specific map in order to get their map bonus rewards, which could be powerful blood or armored scales depending on the map that you use them in. So find a level 80 map with the reward that you're looking for or the material that you're looking for and use them up. Another method is the silver wastes. Silver wastes I find to be more like Walmart. It has a little bit of everything that you need for your legendary. You have access to obsidian shards, you have access access to tier 6 materials and overall it's a pretty good gold farm to help you fund anything that you need. Specifically the tier 6 materials, you can get these from fighting the monsters within the map while you're clearing bases or doing any of the events. The tier 6 materials that you'll get from fighting the Mordrum in this map will either be a powerful venom sack or a vicious fang. Your other option in this map is to use any excess bandit crest at the bandit crest merchant. You can use 10 crest to buy a bag of stolen goods which is a tier 8 loot bag that has a chance of dropping tier 6 materials. Another benefit to this map is using your keys to open lost bandit chests around the map. Every single time you open a chest, you get what is called an embroidered coin purse, which is a champion loot bag that also has a chance at dropping tier 6 materials if you open it on a level 80 character. The best time to actually farm chests like this is after the Vine Wrath has been completed. If you're on the NA server, you can join a guild called SW, which is Sinfully Wasted or Sinful Wasters, and they run Silver Waste every single day. They have two guilds of 500 members and all these different leaders that can lead the map. They do all the events, then they do the breach, and then they do the vine wrath so you have a lot of currency a lot of gold and a lot of chests to open in between meta maps so if you want a good meta map just open up the lfg and join that group the last method I'd like to go over is item promotion. In essence, what you're doing here is promoting a tier 5 item to a tier 6 item. So let's use blood for example. In order to make more vials of powerful blood, you will need 50 potent blood, 5 crystalline dust, 5 philosopher's stones, and 1 vial of powerful blood. Throw it all into the forge and you'll get a minimum of 5 back all the way to a maximum of 12. So if you wanted to do claws or totems or anything else, all you'll have to do for that mystic forge formula is change out the tier 5 material and the tier 6 material that you're using. A disclaimer with this method is that you could possibly lose money because tier 6 materials have lost value over time. For example, blood used to be a gold and now it's about 40 silver. So if you were to get the lowest amount of blood from that mystic forge recipe, you could possibly lose money with the amount that you could have made if you just sold all the materials instead. If I had to do these methods in any specific order, I would do magic warp bundles, pack scout mapping materials, silver wastes, and then item promotion. I put the bundles first because if you do a winterberry farm, that takes 5-10 to 10 minutes to get 1500-2k to 2K unbound magic. That translates to 3-4 to 4 magic warp bundles, which translates to a potential 40 tier 6 materials if you get 10 materials per open. Map materials are second because I don't instantly reap the benefits of getting the tier 6 materials 
materials from using them. I wait for a rotation that comes around every eight weeks, so this is a long-term investment. But on the other hand, it only takes five minutes to run this route every single day, so it's not a burden on my daily routine. And silver waste comes in at third because the first two methods are very rewarding for a very small amount of time each day. Silver waste has nothing daily about it, and it's more rewarding the more time you spend in the map. I rank item promotion last because if you are buying the items from the trading post to promote to the tier 6 material you want, you run the risk of losing money depending on which material you're going for. If you don't want to buy these things and you need to farm the materials, Silver Waste is a good place to go. That's all there is to this tier 6 gathering guide. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for other methods, I would love to hear them. Drop a comment below telling me what they are. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Once again, I'm Rail, and I'll see you in the next video.